Okay, very simple thing here called maglev. If I take two paper, uh, two uh, um, donut magnets, place them like this, turn one around, and it actually levitates. Okay, do the same thing with a copper tube. Why does it have to be copper? Because otherwise it would be attracted to the actual pipe. Separate those so that they're reversed. And there you go, same idea. Maglev, stop. Okay, let's do that maglev again. We take these two magnets, and actually I have to put them on top of here because there are metal parts inside there and will attract. So, together equals around 135. And now if I put them maglevved onto a little hook, there they are, the same force. Now even though the top one is being suspended, it must be supported by the lower magnet. Newton's third law. The magnet pushes up and the other one pushes down with an equal and opposite force, but the mass stays the same. Now if I actually put them this way, they'll actually be a little different, not just because of the weight of the box, but because there's metal parts. So notice that's 35. Flip them around. Slightly different. Stop. 